Welcome to the very first... <laughs> Ganon talaga, no? Welcome to the very first episode of this video series from Violin Village. Hi guys, my name is Nimrod Villamarzo and I'm also a violinist and I've been a violinist na medyo matagal-tagal na din. Siguro mga 14 years na. And naalala ko before, yung first violin ko talaga, it was an entry-level violin and binili lang talaga namin dito sa department store dito sa Bacolod City you know it was around mga siguro mga 4, 5 to 5,000 pesos medyo masakit siya sa kamay and also uh, it was made of steel strings steel yung strings niya after about siguro mga 4 years it was my first encounter sa what we call a uh, copy it was a, uh, a Strad Stradivarius copy one thing that I've realized mas madali siyang tugtugin. For one, yung nut niya sa fingerboard, sa malapit sa scroll, proper yung height niya. I wouldn't say lower, but it's proper yung height niya in such a way na ma-execute niyo in a right way yung mga skills niyo, yung mga techniques, and all of those things. I can definitely say na medyo nag-improve yung playing ko because of that. And also, na-maximize yung potential when I was just starting out. It, it helped a lot. So, kailangan nyo pa talagang mag-upgrade? Kailangan nyo pa talagang bumili ng bagong violin? If you have an entry-level violin. And also, ano nga ba yung mga replicas? Ano nga ba yung mga copies? Or mga saan sila na pattern? And all of those things. Are they good enough? Or are they just the same with factory-made violins? Or nabibili natin sa mga department stores natin? Kailangan ba talaga yan? Mamaya... We will show you and we will discuss more about these types of violins from Shannon Violin Village. So we're going to learn more about them. And I think one of the best people who can discuss more about this is no other than the owner of Violin Village himself, Mr. Chester Nimrod Elias. Thank you, Nimrod. Kumusta ka? Anyway, that's a very good question. Madalas nating maririnig, no? Mag, uh, pag um, may isang uh, nagsasabi, my violin is a Strad. Yung iba naman, mine is a Guarneri. Especially, minsan ginagamit ito using a uh, new violin. Kaya minsan we're confused. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng uh, Strad or uh, Guarneri? Especially when the violin being referred to is a new violin. So technically speaking, when we talk about Stradivarius and Guarnerius, ito talaga yung mga gawa ng uh, mga sinaunang master luthiers natin na sina Antonio Stradivarius and uh, Joseph Guarnerius. Pero maraming hindi nakakaalam that these luthiers existed 300 years ago. So ibig sabihin, matagal na po silang wala dito sa mundo. So these violins na gawa ni uh, uh, Stradivarius and Guarnerius, meron ngayon natitira pero kukonti na lang. So uh, at, at the same time, they are not commercially available for sale. May iba na may mga auction, pero kung gusto mo bumili, you, you should prepare at least siguro, shall I say, uh, 10 million dollars or, uh, or more. Pero the question is, bakit pa natin ginagamit yung... Uh, label na or uh, yung uh, tawag na Strad or Guarneri when referring to a new violin kahit na bago yung violin na ginagamit natin we usually say yeah ito Strad ito ito Guarneri ito because here modern day violins are patterned okay mostly patterned after the two most successful violin shape or model Opinion ko lang yon. <laughs> Pero yun din yung opinion ng maraming mga experts. Yung patterns na yon ay uh, the Stradivarius pattern and the Guarnerius pattern. Yung hawak ko ngayon, ito yung uh, general shape or pattern ng uh, isang violin na gawa ni uh, uh, Joseph Guarnerius. Stradivarius, yan yung mas common. Yung mga nabibili natin sa mall, yung may mga brand, yung shape nila generally patterned after Stradivarius. So, dalawa 
In fact, sa Violin Village, we, uh, yung violins namin, patterns sa uh, dalawang uh, general characteristics ng dalawang violins na ito. So, uh, now, let's differentiate. Ano pong yung ibig sabihin ng replica, copy, at uh, pattern? When we say replica, yung goal ng violin making is to let the violin look like. <laughs> no? So, it would appear like an old violin. May mga replica na hindi naman siya fully patterned after the violins of the old masters. Kung titingnan mo, napakaganda ng itsura, well painted. In fact, no, I use the word painted. <laughs> Pero yung material na ginamit is not actually the same material na ginamit din sa mga sinaunang violin. But, replica violins, kung uh, sinabi natin replica, Siguro, pag tinignan natin, parang Stradivarius, parang Guarnerius, pero kahit na yung flame sa likod, yung iba, pinipinturahan na lang para merong maple flaming. But when we talk about violins patterned after the workmanship of uh, Guarnerius and Stradivarius, ibig sabihin nun, faithful tayo sa pag, uh, uh, even in how we make the violin in the process, the choosing of materials, yung ginagamit na material at yung uh, architecture ng violin mismo, as much as we can, we base it on how these old 300-year-old violins were made. For example, the standard is yung ginagamit ni na Antonius at Joseph 300 years ago. The back is uh, maple. Yung stripes na ito, it's not painted. It's uh, natural maple flaming, yung tawag nila. Yung sides, ganun din. Yung scroll, yung neck, and the fingerboard should be made with pure ebony wood. So, uh, yan lang muna. Overview lang muna tayo sa mga susunod namin mga video ni Kuya Nimrod. We will explain further yung mga detalye pa about uh, copies, patterns, and uh, replicas. Wow! So, at least we now know na yung violins from Violin Village are actually patterned after the blueprints of the violins that were made by Antonio Stradivari and Giuseppe Guarneri. Oh, Italian talaga yung accent, no? Now, um, Sir Chester, ano pa po ba yung ano? Since my familiar na kami with, with the types of violin that you have, do you also have other services such that uh, medyo kung makustomize ba nila yung violin nila pag gusto nila if they send you a message and if they have those types of orders thank you for that question again uh, Kuya Nimrod <laughs> okay about our violins here at Violin Village yung violins namin as much as we can we base it faithfully sa pagawa ng uh, katulad ng uh, the process on how the old masters were making violins uh, we are using um, aged spruce top. Hindi ito yung mga binibenta lang sa mall na laminated wood. Spruce talaga ito, carved. And at the same time, we are using carved maple. Yung ibang variants namin, cool back or a one-piece back, yung tawag nila. But this one that I'm holding, it's made of uh, divided maple. And at the same time, we also use um, black ebony wood. Ibig sabihin, kahit na nilagari mo siya, sa loob ay itim pa rin siya. Hindi siya pinturado lang. At the same time, the varnish that we use, we use oil varnish. Hindi yung uh, uh, acrylic based <laughs> na makikita natin sa mga uh, medyo uh, low-end na violins na binibenta sa mall. So at the same time, Violin Village Violins, yung mga violins namin, they are not exact replica of uh, Stradivarius and Guarnerius. Ang importante, we uh, use the plan, yung mga blueprints na kung paano ginagawa yung uh, Stradivarius, Guarnerius violins 300 years ago. And we uh, faithfully stick to the dimensions in the plan according to how they were made nung bago pa sila. We are not selling antique violins. But as much as we want, we are faithful to how the uh, these old violins were made materials process natural aging at a little bit of appearance and uh, i would also like to add 
may iba't ibang levels din kami na violin. We have four uh, intermediate players, the intermedio for the advanced, the avanzato, the concert level, the concerto, and uh, we have the maestrato. And uh, at the same time, we do uh, modifications or customization according to fittings. So nakikita niyo sa page namin, meron pa kaming fittings na carved. Yung ginagamit namin, yung black. No? Hindi ito painted wood. These are pure ebony wood. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na nagariin nyo, tingnan nyo sa loob, itim pa rin yan. So, uh, later on, sa mga future videos namin, we will explain more, isa isa isahin namin yung uh, models ng uh, Violin Village instruments. So, again, Kuya Nimrod, I hope I've answered uh, your question. Sabi ko nga, overview pa lang ito. Marami pang episodes, no? So, back to you, Kuya Nim. Ay! my future episode nga no excited na nga din ako uh, but with regard to this uh, Sir Chester now we're we're familiar na with the um, types of violins yung materials na ginagamit yung kung saan sila napapattern as well as yung workmanship with uh, the violins in Violin Village now this is going to be medyo mas malalim-lalim na question na to this time um, what is yung mission and vision ng Violin Village or perhaps you can also share to us yung mga previous experiences mo din while you were starting out um, in playing the violin um, your hardships and your experiences generally that led you to the creation of Violin Village Oh, that's a very difficult question Kuya Nim <laughs> Kuya Nim Rod about the vision of uh, Violin Village Actually, we have a uh, desire na matulungan yung mga, especially ating mga violinist no, in the Philippine string community. I've experienced when I was starting how to learn the violin, kung gaano kahirap maghanap ng decent violin with a very limited budget. Sabi ng iba siguro, limited budget ay ang mamahal ng violins ninyo. But if you have an idea kung magkano yung isang handmade violin, no? Uh, shall I say, huh? using uh, uh, European spruce, maple, oil varnish, handmade. No, If you browse through the internet, ito po ay uh, nagkakahalaga. Kapag, uh, for example, European or German, 200,000 and above yung presyo nito. But here, it is our desire na kahit na ordinaryong Pilipino, no, as much as possible, no, we can afford one decent violin. Compare mo naman sa mga mass-produced violin, all I can guarantee is that, uh, for example, ito lang. Can you see the uh, yung uh, bulge ng uh, belly at yung sa likod, yung kanyang curvature? Handmade violins like this, this is carved. Ibig sabihin, inuukit talaga yung curve ng plate no? sa spruce and sa maple. Kapag bumili ka naman ng uh, mass-produced factory-made violins, they uh, cut it from a flat plank of wood, flat parang plywood, and then press it with hot metal to take this kind of shape. Yung problema sa ganyan, through the years, bumabalik yung shape niya. Nagpa-flat din yung kanyang belly, sa yung kanyang likod. It becomes very frustrating sa isang uh, aspiring violinist na na-attach na sa kanyang instrument. So it is our desire, it is our vision that um, we can introduce somewhat quality handmade instruments to the Filipino strings community without uh, spending much. No? But that's very relative. I believe many of you would, uh, would uh, take this as a very debatable. But professionals know. Alam nila kung magkano yung presyo ng handmade violins na ginagamit na materials ay spruce, maple, oil varnish, at pure ebony, saka handmade pa. So we all know. So uh, this is our vision that uh, someday we can help aspiring musicians also own a decent violin. And at the same time, as uh, some of you hindi nakakaalam, Violin Village is a cost-oriented business. Here in Bacolod City, we are offering free music lessons, free violin lessons to those uh, talented students. Kaso nga lang, we regret to inform you that dahil sa pandemia, medyo na-stop yung ating program. So, the more you purchase from Violin Village, marami po kayong nasusuportahan ng mga musikero. 
So this is our aim. In fact, uh, itong uh, video episodes namin ni Kuya Nimrod, it would be uh, uploaded weekly. May mga bago tayong episode per week. Yung uh, aim namin, matulungan din yung mga uh, tawag natin, no? mga self-taught violinist. From time to time, magtuturo kami ng mga lessons at we will give you tips, especially si Kuya Nimrod. Marami siyang share sa inyo. Magaling yan! <laughs> no, to help also those who are uh, struggling na na hindi maka-afford ng formal lessons. Alam naman natin, apakamahal ngayon mag uh, one-on-one violin lessons. So, um, we want to help. And uh, if you have questions about uh, playing the violin or a concern about uh, the violin, just feel free to message us because we are here to serve and to help our uh, the Filipino strings community. Thank you once again, Kuya Nimrod. Thank you, and I hope na sagot ko yung uh, katanungan. By the way, no, mga overview pa lang ito. These are not yet detailed discussions sa specific topics natin. So, um, there will be more to come. Thank you very much. Indeed, there's going to be more videos coming out very, very soon. And Sir Chester, maraming maraming salamat po for sharing your knowledge and your expertise in this field. It really helps everyone here who are just you know treading this field of violin playing and so violin playing na to sa field na to there's a lot of common misconceptions like ganito does it cause stiff neck <laughs> no playing the violin does not necessarily cause stiff neck unless of course if extended period yung uh, ano mo yung practice mo say five hours a day ka or you have wrong posture do you really have to be right-handed? No, but if you're left-handed, you really have to learn how to play the violin sa left side ng body mo. Siguro, if you're a soloist, it's okay. But if you're in an orchestra, you really have to play it sa left side kasi if it's on the other side, magbabanggaan yung scrolls ng violin nyo and it's very, very dangerous. Do I have to already know how to read sheet music? The answer is no. I say you can learn how to read sheet music as you learn the violin, as you go along. So this time we're going to take a listen to some of the violins. Dito, I do have the Concerto S, I think, and the Concerto G. S stands for Stradivarius and the G stands for the Guarneri model. Um, we're probably going to play lang siguro mga some scales and some simple pieces just to show you yung range ng tone niya. And um, from, you know, from the G string up until the E string. Hey guys, so we're going to be recording this from the camera itself. At saka wala po tayong mic. So para at least raw lang talaga yung sound. And this is right now the uh, Guarneri.
Now, so kailangan mo ba talagang mag-change ng violin? Mag-upgrade ng violin? The answer is, if you have the money for it, go for it. It's a good investment. At saka it helps you out. It maximizes and optimizes your skills and abilities para mag-improve ka pa sa pagtutugtog ng violin. Um, but if you don't, that's perfectly fine. Just stay lang muna with your original violin. Because, you know what? Kahit na bibigyan mo ng t- 2,000 pesos lang na violin, yung isang world-class soloist na violinist, they can still make that violin sound very, very good. So it's not really with the violin itself, it's really with the skills. So if you're really serious about this, and in order for you to improve, and perhaps make a career out of that as well, you have to uh, be motivated to learn. You have to uh, be resourceful. Be very dedicated in practicing, but most of all, be humble. So that actually ends the first video of this series. Always remember na nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. So keep practicing, and I'll see you next week.